Hey everyone, it's David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist, and I am a day late doing this video, but I uh, did promise that the next video that I was going to do was going to be uh, my favorite book of the Bible, and I'm going to show you guys in like a minute. And also, just wanted to go over a few things, so I had a lot of fun this uh, past week, and I had too much fun, so much fun in fact, that I was pretty much wiped out the whole time I was at work. Go figure that... Um, the day that I wanted to rest, I could not. I had to go right back to work. Then I uh, ended up being extended um, almost an hour and a half or so past the time I was supposed to work till, uh, give or take a few minutes. And then I opened the past two days, and this is the first day I've been off since um, yesterday, actually. So, yeah, anyway, um, actually the first time I've been off since Sunday. That's what I meant. Uh, it didn't sound right at first. Anyway, um, so I am going back to Universal on Sunday, but I will not be doing a Universal video. There really is nothing to talk about. I am still trying to contemplate whether I want to do a Universal video next Saturday, or if I'm going to do a Disney video. I am not sure what's going on. I took the day off, because I'm supposed to uh, either go to Disney with my brother and a friend of his, depending on how many of his friends are going, or I'm going to go to Universal with a friend. Either way, I should know by next Wednesday what's going on. I promise that I will um, let you guys know next Wednesday what's going on. And instead of uh, doing a Universal video on Sunday, I want to talk to you guys more about how VBS um, helped encourage me to become saved. So that's what I'm going to talk about on... Sunday versus doing a Universal video, but I will tell you guys briefly um, how Sunday what and how many rides I did and how slow it was for once. Slow uh, meaning like the lack of people there, and I don't mean employees, I mean guests. So you might be asking, David, what is your favorite book of the Bible? I did call myself the theme park evangelist for a reason, and um, I am going to tell you that um, I'm not always going to be doing theme park videos. That's the whole point of this channel is to talk about my faith, too. And you want if you want to know what my favorite book of the Bible is, well, here you go. The Book of Job. If you can see it right there, if you get this camera to focus, that would be awesome. The Book of Job. There we go. Okay. I think you guys can see that. So... I'm going to be talking about Job chapter 41. I'm not going to be preaching this video. I'm going to read uh, the majority of this chapter, if not the whole chapter, and then I'm going to tell you guys why this chapter specifically speaks to me the most. And then I'm also going to um, tell you guys why this is my favorite book of the Bible. So here we go. And it says... And I don't expect you guys to be able to read this, but I'm going to try my best to keep, follow along. Can you pull a leviathan with a fish hook or tie down its tongue with a rope? Can you put a cord through his nose or pierce his jaw with a hook? Will it keep begging you for mercy? Will it speak to you with gentle words? Will it make an agreement with you for you to make it as your slave for life? Can you make a pet of it like a bird? Or put it on a leash for the young woman in your house. It will trade barter for it. Trade barters, I'm sorry. Traders barter. Will they divide it up among the merchants? Can you fill its hide with harpoons? Or its head with fishing spears? If you lay a hand on it, you will remember the struggle and never do it again. Any help of subduing it is false. The mere sight of its overpowering. No one is fierce enough to rouse it. Who then is able to stand against me? Who is a claim against me that I must pay? Everything under heaven belongs to me. I will not fail to speak of Leviathan's limbs, its strength and its graceful form. Who can strip off its outer coat? Who can penetrate, can penetrate its double coat of armor? 
who double, who dares open the doors of its mouth, roaring about it with fearsome teeth. Its back has rows of shields, tightly sealed together, each is so close to the next, that no air can pass between. They are joined fast to one another. They cling together and cannot be parted. Its snorting throws out flashes of light. Its eyes are like the rays of dawn. Flames stream from its mouth. Sparks of fire shoot out. Smoke, smoke pours from its nostrils. As from a boiling pot of burning reeds. Its breath sets coal ablaze and flames dart from its mouth. And I'm going to end it right there, uh, like reading from this chapter. I'm not ending the video yet. So you're probably wondering, so what was the point of that? Um, this is um, when God was speaking to Job, which was a, he was a very, very wise man. Um, also a very brave and courageous man. Job went through more trials and tribulations than any biblical man ever. In fact, God let taste, Satan test him himself. And Job, surprisingly, passed every single test. And God proved to Satan that Job had a lot more strength and uh, faith than Satan claimed he did. So that was pretty much the majority of the Bible, or this chapter right here, not the Bible. The Bible is way too broad and fast for me to just talk about in a 10 minute video, and I couldn't. But in this book of the Bible, anyway, that was the point. And in this specific chapter, chapter 41, God is talking to Job about different creatures that he has created and he was asking Job, who created creatures like this? Who allowed them to be able to do what they can do? And he's testing Job's faith and knowledge. He's like, Job, think about it, really. Who has the ability to create something like this? I mean, if you really think about it, you know who it is. And he was referring to himself. There's only God can create somewhat, something like that. And it's mind-blowing that... There was a creature back then called the Leviathan. And if you guys have seen The Atlantis of Lost Empire by Disney, which starred uh, Michael J. Fox as Milo Thatch, you'll uh, know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, the creature died out a few thousand years ago in the flood. I know that evolutionists t teach about um, the uh, meteors that destroyed all living forms on Earth. I don't believe in that stuff. I will not teach it. Believe it if you want, I do not, and I will never teach that stuff ever, ever. So don't go asking me to teach you evolution. Though I do know about evolution, I do study it, doesn't mean I believe it. I study it so I have um, a way to counterattack evolutionists. Because without knowing anything about evolution, you have, a creationist has no way of knowing how to counterattack an evolutionist. And basically, that's why this is my favorite book of the Bible, because of the fact that God really shows that um, if you truly have faith in him, that you can accomplish almost anything. Like, um, whatever is it, Michael, I think it was Michael J. Fox said that in Back to the Future, or um, Emma Brown, I don't remember who said it, Something, somebody like that. And, honestly, if you have faith in God, if you put your mind to it, you can believe in him no matter what. Even when it t times get so hard, and I know there's been many times when God tested someone's faith, and to the point where people were singing praises to God in jail. And this is one time when a man lost everything he had. His family all betrayed him. He lost all of his livestock. He lost all of his money, he lost his kids. So I mean, God allowed Satan to take everything away from him. And you know what? Job refused to betray God. Even when his own wife betrayed God, Job turned around and mocked her and insulted her and said, you foolish woman, how dare you attack the God, the creator of all mankind. And the one has blessed me of everything he did let me have. 
He said, obviously, God had a reason for me to lose everything I had. Otherwise, I would have been given all this stuff in the first place. And you know why um, Job was uh, such a um, humble man and faithful? Because he knew God loved him and cared about him. And because of Job's obedience... God allowed Job to have twice or sevenfold of what everything he had. And I think Job was allowed to have more kids after that. He had like a whole bunch more kids. And yes, his wife did stay with him. And Job also had a lot more inheritance given to him after that. All because he believed in God from the beginning and he never betrayed him once. Satan had his fun and he left. And God still won anyway. So that can prove to you that when you have the faith in God, that you can accomplish almost anything, but you've got to believe in him. And the way you do that, you admit to God that you're a sinner, you believe Jesus, that, or to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and you see, confess your faith, or your sins to Jesus, so you can live with him forever. And that's all part of becoming a Christian, also a life-changing experience. But you can learn more about um, my faith and my walk and um, how to become a Christian in my testimony video fe featured at the top of my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be doing a, my testimony part two, sort of, on Sunday. I'm talking about more how I became a Christian through VBS, Vacation Bible School. And uh, please give me this a uh, like. Um, uh, please leave a comment. Tell me how you felt about this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't worry, there will be more theme park videos along the way. And I will see you guys in the next video. And now it's time to pay the price.